Hi everyone, I was asked to do some more problem for, uh, from K.10. So we're asked to complete the square. So to complete the square, we're going to use our method. We could try factoring, um, but that's not what they want. So here we go. Uh, u squared minus 4u four, four minus 19. This is not a perfect square. So what's a perfect square I want? u minus 2 because we divide this by 2. Divide it by 2. The perfect C I wish I had was plus 4. If I add 4 and I'm minus 4, we combine that to be negative 23 equals 0 squared. Okay, so we, square. we got a perfect square there. Again, just double check this is u squared minus 4u plus 4 minus 23 gives us back to the 19 we started it with. So from u minus 2 squared minus 23 equals to zero we're going to go ahead and solve for u so we get rid of the 23 then the two and then uh, the squared and then the two we can do this in one step we said before in class so um, u is equal to uh, 23 positive the square root plus or minus and then a plus two so we can do all that in one step and that's actually our answer we have a u is equal to two plus square root of 23 and u minus square root of 23. We said it was u is 2 plus square root of 23. Oh, they want us to round the numbers. So we need a calculator. Let me take out my calculator. We're going to do 2 plus uh, 23 square root equals, so 6.79. They wanted us to round to the hunches place, so I'm going to round that up, 6.80. Next one is 2 minus square root of uh, 23. And we're ending with negative 2.79, rounding up 2.8. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. In this problem, they put 43 on the other side, and you don't need to move it, but I'm going to move it just because that's how we've been working it. So I'm going to write k, minus, k squared minus 16k minus 43 equals 0. Again, you don't need to do that, but I generally just set it up this way. And we find our perfect square, which is 8x, sorry, k minus 8, because we always divide the middle term by 2. And then our perfect square is going to be plus 64 minus 64 because 8 squared is 64. We combine that to become a 60, negative 64 minus 43 is negative 107. And now we can solve it. Get rid of the 107, the square, and the 8. K is equal to 8 plus and minus the square root of 107. Again, this is two answers. K could be 8 plus square root of 107 and 8 minus square root of 107. And that's just us plugging that into the calculator. Okay, let's jump to another problem. We have k squared equals to, oh, k squared minus 16k minus 43. I'm going to go ahead and just complete the square, right, as we see it. k minus 8 squared. Our perfect C we wish we had is in 43. It's, we're going to say 64, right? Because 8 squared is 64. If I add 64 and minus 64, we combine that to be, oh, we just did this one. No, we didn't, did we? No, that's so close. That's again 100. So that's 64. I'm sorry, 64. That's 107 again. So minus 107. And if we solve for this, k is equal to 8 um, plus and minus the square root of 107. Again, how I did that was I first added 107 took the square root of that, and then plus the 8 over. Okay, let's do another problem. Uh, this is why I call it level 2 problem, because we can't divide the middle term by 2. See how it's negative 1? So let's go ahead and write it out. x x 
x squared minus x minus 7 equals to 0. We're going to go ahead and complete the square, and we follow the same exact rules. 1 divided by 2 is going to be 1 half, negative 1 half. What's half of 1? That's just 1 half, right? That's half of 1. Perfect square is, we're going to write the square, plus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 because 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. And then we're going to somehow combine 1 over 4 and negative 7. We do that by changing 7 to a common denominator. I'm going to write up here negative 1, negative 4 over 28 because I multiply them both by 4. And you'd agree uh, 1 over, uh, sorry, oops, I spun it around the wrong way. It should be 28 over 4, I'm sorry. 28 over 4. The reason why if I write 7 and we write a common denominator of 4, we write 4 over 4. And we're at 28 over 4. And now we have a common denominator. Uh, they're both negative, so negative 29 over 4. Okay, don't forget the squared. Now we're going to kick it out over, kick the square over, and kick the 1 half over. x equals to 1 half plus or minus the square root of 29 over 4. We can simplify that out to be 1 plus square root of 29 all over common denominator 2 because the square root of 4 is 2. Of course, I want you to type this into a calculator and get the decimal. Do one more. Okay, this one looks a little messy. Now, for so we didn't go over this in class, but let's go in and go over it. The goal is to get rid of this a value, and you can see a value is negative, uh, negative four. And we complete the score. We complete the score without an a value, and that's one of the key tricks about this. So here's what we do. We say we have negative four x squared minus 20x. I'm going to move this over, plus 92 equals 0. And we're going to divide the 4 out negative specifically because I don't want the negative there either. Negative x squared plus 5x minus, that's going to be 4 goes into 9 2 times, and 4 goes into 12 uh, 3 times. Okay, from here, this is uh, going to be a little bit more work here because this is what I call a level 3 problem. We're going to go ahead and still complete the square. By bubbling up x plus 5 over 2 we always divide the middle term by 2 square it now the perfect c i wish i have is going to be plus 25 over 2 minus 25 over 2. please notice i actually write everything inside the parentheses last part we need to combine this so our common denominator would be uh, minus uh, 46 over 2 because that's the same thing as 23 we can combine them together we end up with um, negative 60, negative 71 over 2. Now we have 71 over 2 here. Now please be careful, this is all inside the parentheses, so we have to multiply the 4, negative 4, to kick it out. When we multiply it to kick it out, it will be a positive 71 over 2 times 4, sorry, these are both negative, and the 4 and 2 divide out, leaving me a 2, and we're left with 142, 142 equals zero. Oops, uh, all over, oh no, that's right. And then we're going to move stuff over, so it's negative four. Uh, X plus five over two squared equals to negative 142. We're going to divide this by negative four. X plus five over two squared is equal to um, negative 142 over negative 4, which simplifies to become, let's take our time, 71 over 2. 71 over 2. And then we're going to um, take the square root of that and get rid of the 5 over 2. Nope, oh, it's over 4. Wait. Hmm, over 2. That's kind of weird. Actually, you know what? I'm actually not going to reduce that because I actually I need the 4 for the square root. I'm sorry about that. This becomes 142 over 4. We're going to take the square root of both sides. x equals to 5, negative 5 over 2, um, plus and minus the square root of 142 over 4. We can reduce that. Become x is equal to, darn it, um, x, well this is all equal to negative 5 plus and minus square root of 142 over all a common denominator 2.